हेलो गाइज आई एम निशांत कुमार आई एम ए साइंस टीचर आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एटम इट इज़ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन आवर साइंस सब्जेक्ट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट डिफरेंट साइंटिस्ट हैव गिवन डिफरेंट मॉडल्स अबाउट ए स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एटम आई विल डिस्कस थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट मॉडल्स ऑफ देम नंबर वन इज थॉमसन मॉडल ऑफ एटम नंबर टू इज रदरफोर्ड मॉडल ऑफ एटम एंड नंबर थ्री इज बॉर मॉडल ऑफ एटम सो लेट्स स्टार्ट थम्सन मॉडल ऑफ एटम नंबर वन इज थम्सन थम्सन प्रपोज डैट एटम्स कंसिस्ट ऑफ एस्फेरिकल स्ट्रक्चर नंबर वन एस्फेरिकल स्ट्रक्चर so later on he said that the positive charges are uniformly distributed throughout the sphere and negative charges are in such a way that the positive and negative charges cancel out each other and the atom is electrically neutral suppose this is a sphere or atom then positive charges are uniformly distributed throughout the sphere and negative charges are arranged in order to make the atom electrically neutral it means no net charge on the atom thomson also said that this model is called as watermelon model watermelon model it means thomson said that the atom is like watermelon in which the protons or the positive charges are like the red parts of the watermelon and the negative charges which are electrons are like the seeds in the watermelon this is about thomson model but later on thomson model sorry thomson model was not accepted and another important model was introduced that is called rutherford model of atom so second point is rutherford model rutherford model rutherford proposed that the structure of atom is like a small scale solar system in which the positive charges are situated at the center of the atom and negative charges revolve around the center so if i draw the structure suppose this is atom the positive charges are situated at the center of the atom and these are called as nucleus and negative charges revolve around the nucleus but there is a drawback of rutherford model the drawback is drawback according to maxwell theory accord, according to maxwell theory if any charged particle is accelerated that means the velocity of the charged particle will decrease because the accelerated charged particle will will emit radiation emit radiation radiation means energy and as the charged particle emits radiation the velocity of the charged particle will decrease there is a electrostatic force of attraction between nucleus and the electron because nucleus is positively charged and electron is negatively charged so there is a electrostatic force of attraction the velocity of the electron decreases so the electron will fall down to the nucleus that will lead to the unstability of the atom but atom is stable so the drawback of rutherford is it does not tell anything about stability of atom it does not tell about anything anything about the stability of the atom so another model was introduced that is called bohr model third number bohr model
Bohr proposed that if an electron is revolving around the nucleus, that electron must revolve in fixed energy states. Suppose this is atom, this is nucleus. So the electron must revolve around fixed energy states and later on these fixed energy states were called as orbits. If any electron is revolving in any orbit, the energy of this electron should be equal to the energy of that orbit. Suppose this is named as M, sorry, K, L, M, N or 1, 2, 3, 4, this is the num uh, name of the orbit. If electron is revolving in L orbit, then the energy of this electron should be equal to the energy of L orbit. I am writing here, energy of electron should be equal to energy of orbit. This electron will continue to remain in this orbit and will not fall down to the nucleus. In case if this electron emits or absorbs energy, then it will jump to either in higher state or in lower state of orbit, but it will not fall down to the nucleus. So according to Bohr model, atom is stable. This is Bohr model.